Hey nerds, what is up? My name is X Millhouse, and guys, welcome to Minecraft Science, a brand new series that we'll be doing on my channel, basically breaking down everything in Minecraft from enchantments to the snapshots to everything possible. We want to scientifically, in this episode, we're going to talk all about the new horses in the snapshot 13W22A, so let's get started. Horses are found in biomes, which biomes are places that you walk around and just have a great time building things. Well, horses now spawn randomly and generated, just like every other mob, and also... They are in herds, and herds are categorized by colors in awesome nature things, I don't really know. But guys, going on, how do you basically make this a tame horse? Well, you're going to need apples, and then you're going to feed it a bunch of apples. Anywhere from 30 to 20 will give you a tamed horse in the first ride. But if you only have like two or three apples, what you're going to do is feed him as two or three apples, get on him, and ride him. Once you ride him, he'll fall in love with you. If you feed him 30 to 20 apples, he'll fall in love with you the first ride. But if you don't have that many apples... Uh, basically, you're going to just keep riding him, keep riding him, and keep riding him until you basically get him to have the little hearts around him and make him fall in love with you. Now, the next thing you're going to have to do is get a saddle. And this saddle basically lets you ride the horse. So where are you going to find these saddles? Well, saddles are found in dungeons, along with now the enchantment books and name tags are also found in dungeons. That's pretty awesome, but if you want to, one of these, you're going to have to go look for an awesome dungeon and go adventuring. So once you have the saddle, you're going to want to put it on him. So what you're going to do is go up to him. Right click him and put the saddle on basically just like your own inventory now you can ride him around jump over things It's pretty awesome. And it's really fun. Actually. It's a great way now if you're gonna like have an adventure map Or you just need to go all the way across the map for some reason Maybe you lost something you can take your horse now and ride him around in places and I I think that's pretty cool And uh, I think that's a great feature that now they're adding into minecraft snapshot 13 w 22 a So once you have him, you can uh, ride him around like I said and you get off him by pushing the shift and you can get back on by just right clicking again. That'll take you there. But what else can you do to your horse? Well, you can have armors on your horse. Yes, armors. Well, the armors are made just like this. You're going to have iron, you're going to have diamond, and you're going to have butter. So your butter and your diamond are probably the most rare, but um, your iron is the most basic. And it's probably going to be one of the most powerful ones other than diamond. Butter sucks in Minecraft. Everybody knows that. But basically how do they look they look pretty sick i'm gonna have to say so what you want to do is you're gonna do the same thing as you did as you put the saddle on and after you craft it you'll look and see you have an iron horse and the iron horse looks pretty awesome it's just the basic iron just like you would wear as your character and you guys can get around get on him and basically what it will do is give him that little extra health and the gold does the same or the butter does basically the same maybe gives him a little more a little less in my opinion it gives him less because gold really isn't that strong in minecraft now the diamond looks badass. It's not like the dumb looking diamond. It looks uh, like a baby, a super baby blue diamond. Your horse looks pretty pimp, I should say. And uh, that's basically what the horse does look like. But now you can name your animals and your pets and like that in Minecraft. And I think that's pretty awesome. So what you're going to do is find a name tag in the dungeon. Uh, get on the anvil. And basically, guys, you're going to want to type out a name that you want to name your awesome horse or any animal. You can name creepers. You can name your dogs or anything like that. For this, it does cost enchantment points. But for this, I'm just going to name him Mike. So there you go. There is Mike. And now your horse and whatever animal you have is named. So guys, one more thing I want to talk about is basically when you're in your own creative mode, your horse will be, not in creative mode, in survival mode, your horse will be having a hunger, not a hunger bar, but a uh, health bar, and then a jumping bar. So what will those do is tell you how much he can jump and basically his health. So I hope you guys enjoyed episode number one of Minecraft Science. This is a whole entire series. Basically, we're breaking down everything possible in the new snapshots or just Minecraft in general to give you guys a little bit of background information on what is in Minecraft and how was it come to be. So this was in the snapshot. And I did really enjoy the snapshot. It was a lot of fun. But the horses were probably one of the biggest things that come to the snapshot. And I thought that was pretty awesome. But hope you guys enjoyed this episode today. If you guys didn't, I want you guys to smack that like button. Comment below and tell me what I should do in next week's episode. I think I'm just going to go over enchantments. But that's up to you guys. My name is X Millhouse. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces!